So you open up your mystery box and you see Core White and you're like, the heck? What am I gonna do with this? I'm gonna show you a really cool design that's gonna incorporate that beautiful soft white color. I'm gonna incorporate a little bit of speed clear into the mix. I'm gonna show you guys how to create the perfect milk bath look. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the whole prep, right? So I want to replicate pushing the cuticles back and then at a low speed with my e-file, I wanna gently remove shine around the cuticle area and then lightly feather it from corner to corner, right? So you can see how I'm just gently feathering away the shine, not using any pressure. It has to be a very light tickling motion. Once we're done doing that, I'm going to take swipe, I'm going to pump it, I'm going to clean the surface. This is going to set us up for protein bond application. I recommend two coats. Go through all 10 nails and as soon as you're done doing all 10 nails, come back and apply your second coat. Boom. All right, so what we need to do is we need to grab some of the embellishments we're going to be working with. You can grab anything you want. I'm going to be working with blueberry mint mylar. All right, let me get some pieces of this. And I'm gonna be working with this. This is decked out, right? So decked out is this really fine mylar. We're gonna put that in here as well. So we're gonna do kind of a combination between this really intense green and this holographic blue. All right, so what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to build out the free edge first. I always find this easier when you're actually doing this design because what you can do is while the free edge is wet, you can compress some of the embellishments inside while you're forming the tip. So I'm going to go ahead and pre-pinch it. I'm going to establish a nice flush application to the end, nice and straight so my sidewalls are even. All right, I'm going to submerge my brush. I'm going to press out I'm going to bounce, 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 bounce. All right, I'm gonna give this a second. I'm gonna usually tap out a little bit of the excess liquid before I set this down. And then immediately, as soon as I set this down, I'm gonna walk it all the way up to the very, very edge of the nail. Okay, so what that's gonna do is it's gonna make it flush. I'm just gonna bring my sides in and then while it's setting, I'm going to take a combination of all these beautiful mylars and just kind of compress everything down and into the nail. And then while it's setting, right, everything is going to be kind of pushed into the surface. I'm gonna grab as many pieces as I can and just press it into the acrylic when it is in a wet state. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get this out because we're gonna, we're gonna try to shape this to a really, really nice kind of a long almond shape nail. All right, so once I actually have this, this is my foundation layer, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get another small amount, right? And this time what I'm gonna do, right behind the smile, I'm just going to lightly kind of brush it down and through, and then continue to add more pieces all the way through, right? So I'm going to continuously add. I find because what we're doing is we're just layering it in and then adding. The white is a milky white. So you're going to notice that as soon as I pick it up and I set it down, right, and then I brush it through the body, you see how it kind of covers everything. But the nice thing is you can see just enough. So the, the, the layers on the bottom are barely going to show and then everything on top is really going to come out. So we're just gonna continuously add to the surface, right? And what we're doing is we're building these layers up, right? So I'm just going to get this as close to the edge, right? But I, again, what I wanna be able to do is just leave a little bit of space at the cuticle area. I don't really like to take everything all the way back because we still have to fill this in a couple of weeks. All right, so what we're going to do now Continue the layering process. I'm going to get a nice healthy amount. 
all right? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set this down at the cuticle area. I'm gonna walk around the perimeter of the nail, getting it nice and tight. And as soon as it gets right down to this corner, I'm gonna pull this corner and then all the way through the body, right? So what we start to see is not only a perfect cuticle area, I have just enough product, right? And I'm gonna continuously work this product all the way down and around creating layers of dimension. We do the same thing on the front, but this time what I'm gonna do is take a small amount and I'm just gonna brush it from the tip back. Boom, and this is just going to kind of create an even dispersion of the acrylic while it's wet. Then I can continue working pieces all the way through, creating that beautiful layer. All right. One more very, very slight amount over the top. There we go. And just a few extra pieces to highlight the beauty of this design. All right, so once we actually have this established, what I'm going to do now, right, to add support to the whole product, is I'm not gonna continuously cover this with Core White. I'm now going to grab my speed clear, I'm gonna cap the whole entire thing. Okay, so I need to get a nice healthy amount. I'm going to set this right at the cuticle area. I'm gonna to try to push this as tight as I can because I don't want that little piece of glitter right there. Got that out. I'm gonna let this self level. Notice how it's flowing. When it's flowing, you see I'm pulling from the side down over the stress area. I'm not really touching the upper arch, but you can see how everything is flowing over the whole entire design encasing everything. This is gonna bring a level of clarity that's going to be absolutely beautiful. I still have a little bit of space right here. I'm going to grab just this little bit more. I'm gonna set this backwards, boom, over the top. Kind of use the tip of my brush to brush it flush. And then I'm going to use the body to get this over the balance. And what we've done is we've encased the whole entire thing. I'm going to allow this to dry we're gonna file this into shape, and you're gonna see how Core White could be a staple powder in your acrylic arsenal. We've got endless amounts of videos, so do not stop now. Click, watch, click, watch, keep that going, and don't forget to give us one of these.